Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and Unity currently has a contest running where you can actually win a real car. Apparently this contest has been running since late February, but I've only heard about it just now. The submission date is pretty tight, it's already next week, but still I wanted to make a quick video just in case you want to participate and who knows, maybe win a car. Specifically, it's a Volkswagen ID4 with a value of $40,000, and the runner-up prizes are also pretty good, there's $300 worth of Unity swag. So the goal of the contest is to make something using Unity Forma. This is a new tool built by Unity that is meant to help you easily create some real-time 3D product configurators. So the most obvious example is something like a car where you can inspect and interact with the 3D model in tons of ways. So you can change the colors, move the wheels, pop the trunk and so on. Or maybe instead of a car you have something like a furniture store where you create something to showcase a custom desk and demonstrate all of its features or maybe for clothes, to change the color, the fabric and so on. Then you can make a normal build or publish it to the cloud and access the configurator through any web browser. So it's a pretty interesting tool for marketing various products. Now usually this is a paid tool, but while the contest is running you can test it out for free. So even if you don't end up submitting anything to the contest, this is a great way to test it out if it's something you're interested in. I did just that, I downloaded it myself to try it out. So here is the official demo, it's a car configurator. If you just want to try out this demo, you don't need to actually download it. You can do that through the browser on the website. So it's a really cool car. I'm pretty sure this is fictional. I don't think this brand actually exists, but it's a really good looking high-end sports car. So the whole point of Unity Forma is to make it super simple to create a configuration like this. So for example, over here, I can change around the color pack. So make it in red and see how the car looks like. I can try rotating the wheels just to see it. I can open up the doors and look from any angle and so on. This whole thing is a Unity scene, so I can also load just a different environment. So here's on a salt flat, so a really good looking environment. Then you can change the color of the calipers. Over here, change the seat button color. Go inside the various cameras and there's all of these. So for example, go into the interior camera. If there it is, look at that, the whole interior. So as you can see, this is a great tool to easily create a configurator so the customer can see their specific customized product exactly as they want it. This is the built-in configurator to demonstrate what the tool can do. Now, the goal of the contest is to actually build your own. And for that, it doesn't actually have to be just a car, it can be just about anything. So for example, you can make it with some furniture or maybe some clothes or maybe a house. You can check the official rules for more info. And according to those rules, I believe you can use assets from the asset store. So thankfully, there's actually a spring sale running right now, so that's pretty helpful. If you want to participate, you can get some great assets at a nice discount and use them in your demo. Now when you sign up, you get the link to download Unity Forma, which is what I have open here. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button. It's a tiny thing, but it really does help. Thanks. So this is a different interface, but this is exactly still Unity. So in fact, I can simply go into Forma, into Switch Mode, and there you go, now I'm back on the standard Unity window. So as you can see, this is a tool that is built on top of Unity. So just go ahead, Switch Mode, and back into the Unity Forma view. Okay, so let's take a look at this and see how this all works. Now on the right side you've got the product outline, so this is some sort of hierarchy. So it shows all of the various parts of the product or model or anything you have. Then on the left side you have over here all of these buttons. So the first one is for the product. So this is where you add all of the various variants. So for example up here you've got the various color packs. So I can inspect the yellow color pack, the red, black and so on. With the pack selected you can see down here all of the various settings. So for example, this is a pack which means that it will apply all of these individual changes. So it will change the car paint into blue, it will change the leather into dark blue, and so on. So this is a pack of multiple changes, and then you've got the individual changes. So for example, the body color, just double click, and there you go, now we've got an amber body. And then here you can see what this variant actually does. So if you scroll down, you see the various assignments. So these are the various object parts that get modified, and they get set with this particular material and with this color. So for example, you can see that this one will change the material up here for the front splitter. So change into ember, then change into aqua. So all it's doing, it's selecting a bunch of object parts and then setting their material and their color. Now how you work with this tool is very simple. So up here, just click on add. Let's create a new material variant set. And for this one, let's say I want to change the color over here on the front bumper. So I can just rename this. So this is the front bumper. And then let's say rename this one and this one will be in white. So to select what objects I want to be modified when I select this option, I can just select the object on the scene. So I want to select the front bumper. Then you go here and let's select the home front bumper. 
And down here it says the material that this object is using, so I can right click and add assignment to the selected variant. And there you go, down here now I've got the various assignments, so the various objects that won't be changed when I select this option. So for this one, let's change the material into a white color. And there you go, now I've made a variant to change the bumper color into white. And if I want, I can create a new material variant. And for this one, let's make it a black. And let's reset it back into the black material. Okay, so here I've added two variants for the front bumper. Set it in black, set it in white, and so on. So that's how you play around and add the various configurator options. Then next thing you have is the environments. So this essentially loads a different Unity scene. So for example, let's go into the Luxury Showroom. And yep, so that essentially loads a different Unity scene that is used for the background. Then you've also got the various cameras. So these are the multiple preset viewpoints that you can create. So you can click on any of them. There's already a bunch of preset ones. And if you select down here and over here, you can see the various options. And if you're familiar with AGRP cameras, then all of this will be familiar. So you've got the basic, you can change the field of view, change the behavior type, so free look, orbit, and so on. Then on the advanced, you can set it to follow or look at a certain object. So if you want to make an automatic camera that moves around, then of course you've got the Sin Machine, so this works with Sin Machine. Then you've got some blending, then for the animation, this one is using the timeline, so if you're familiar with that, you can easily use this. And over here on the appearance, you can also create a custom volume profile. So you can add it and for example, add tons of post-processing effects. So for example, on this one, let's massively increase saturation, there you go. So you can make each camera look exactly as you want it. And then finally, you've got some rules, so this is pretty interesting. This one lets you tell that if you select a certain thing, then a certain other thing is no longer available. For example, add new rule. Let's say if the red color pack is selected, then I'm going to say that the material variant set of the one that we made, so the front bumper. So if you select the red pack, you cannot select a white bumper. So this is how you configure the various options and combinations. And then finally over here, you've got the new build. So this is how you select the profile and make an actual proper build. So here you select the profile, so HDRP, this is meant to look really good. Then you've got the products, so you would select your own custom product if you want to submit. And then just go ahead and click on build. So if you want to submit your own entry to the contest, first of all, just go ahead and grab whatever asset you want to showcase. Then go up here into the gear icon and open up the profile settings. Then up here, click on add to add a new product. In this case, I'm going to add from the Unity project. And I'm going to select just a car that I grabbed from the asset store. And yep, here is my car. So now again, I can go ahead, create all kinds of variants in order to modify the color and so on to make my custom configurator. All right, so that's Unity Forma. It's a really interesting tool that showcases how Unity is a great real-time 3D engine that goes beyond just game development. Now, the price for this contest is really awesome. It's an actual real car. Specifically, it's a Volkswagen ID4 worth $40,000 and the runner prizes are also really good. I only just heard about the contest just now. It's ending already next week. So if you want to submit something, do it quickly. Take advantage of the spring sale to get some great assets for your entry. And if you just want to try out Unity Forma, go ahead and get it. It's free while the contest is running. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.